जयंती का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे नाइन्थ ऑक्टोबर इज द डेथ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ अ लेजेंडरी फ्रीडम फाइटर डॉक्टर सैफुद्दीन किचलू हेल्ड एज द हीरो ऑफ द जलिया वाला बाग प्रोटेस्ट against the draconian rowlett act of 1919 dr kichlu was also a founding leader of the naujawan bharat sabha which rallied thousands of students and young indians to the nationalist cause he was born on 15th january in 1888 in a kashmiri family which had moved to amritsar a student of sharp intellect Kichlu completed his bachelor's from Cambridge University in London and obtained his PhD from Germany. His revolutionary aspirations dated back to his Cambridge days when he actively participated in Majlis, a society formed by Indian students to discuss India's colonial woes. It was through these meetings that he met India's future Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. Kichlu returned to India in 1913 and started practicing law in Amritsar. Professor Amandeep Bal, head of the Department of History in Guru Nanak Dev University, Amritsar, says, after his return from abroad, one thing that stood out vividly was Dr. Kichlu's devotion and love for the nation. डॉक्टर सैफुद्दीन किचलू जब आए तो उन्होंने आके देखा कि अगर हमें हिंदुस्तान को आगे लेके जाना है तो हमें मिलके काम करना चाहिए यही वजह थी कि अगले दिनों में उन्होंने काफी सारी ऐसी एक्टिविटीज में पार्टिसिपेट किया कि यहाँ पे ये चीजें प्रमोट हो जाए डीपली इन्फ्लुएंस बाय महात्मा गांधी एंड द नेशनल मूवमेंट डॉक्टर किचलू लेफ्ट हिज लीगल प्रैक्टिस टू ज्वाइन द कॉज In March 1919 the Imperial Legislative Council passed the Rowlett Act which empowered the government to put people in jail without trial. Dr Saifuddin Kichlu was one of the leaders who protested against the legislation. Professor Amandeep Bal says Dr Kichlu's oratory was very powerful. उन दिनों में बड़ी बड़ी मीटिंग्स होती थी जिनमें लोग इनको सुनने के लिए जाते थे क्योंकि डॉक्टर सैफुद्दीन किचलू बहुत बढ़िया ओरेटर थे वो हिंदुस्तान की बात भी करते थे कम्युनल यूनिटी की भी बात करते थे साथ में सत्याग्रह की बात करते थे तो लोग उनके साथ जुड़ते थे ऑन नाइन्थ अप्रैल 1919, डॉक्टर किचलू एंड अनदर फ्रीडम फाइटर डॉक्टर सत्यपाल हेल्म्ड एन एंटी गवर्नमेंट प्रोसेशन दैट प्रोग्रेस through the heart of amritsar the two leaders were arrested and interned in dharamshala on 13th april 1919 a meeting was called in the jallianwala bagh to protest the arrest as the meeting was underway british brigadier general reginald dyer ordered his troops to open fire on the peaceful protesters the troops fired 1650 rounds of bullets at the gathering killing around 1000 as per the indian national congress the government released dr kichlu in december 1919 he was a staunch advocate of communal harmony strongly opposing the idea of partition along religious lines dr kichlu suffered a cardiac arrest and passed away on 9th october 1963 On his death, Jawaharlal Nehru remarked that he lost a very dear friend who was a brave and steadfast captain in the struggle for India's freedom. It was also on this day in 1942, freedom fighter from Punjab, Satyavati Devi, made a daring act of replacing the British flag with the Congress flag in Lahore jail. Popularly known as BG or Mataji, Satyavati had been arrested on August 26, 1942, along with her three young children. While in prison, she organized a protest over the deplorable conditions political prisoners were forced to live in. At 5 a.m. on October 9, 1942, she rallied fellow prisoners and replaced the British flag 
atop the women's jail with the congress flag satyavati devi the granddaughter of swami shraddhanand and the mother of former vice president of india krishan kant hosted freedom fighters such as mahatma gandhi jawaharlal nehru and bhagat singh she often fed bhagat singh with her own hands she extended hospitality to the freedom fighters even as her husband lala achintaram a freedom fighter who was popularly known as the gandhi of punjab spent considerable time in british jails in lahore on the night before he left lahore nationalist leader chandrashekar azad hid in her house she left for a heavenly abode on 26th october 2010 satyavati college of the university of delhi is named after the great freedom fighter that brings us to the end of this episode of azadi ka safar with air news see you in the next episode tomorrow